Now, we can say, or we say that the six trig functions are periodic because they repeat over and over and over. Um, that's the reason why we were able to subtract 2 pi or 360, 360 degrees from an angle measure if it was larger than 360 degrees or 2 pi and add 360 degrees or 2 pi if it's smaller than zero. <coughs> Excuse me. So the actual period, so when do they repeat? The period for sine, cosine, secant, and cosecant. The period for these four functions are all the same. They repeat every 2 pi. And of course that's every 360 degrees. Okay, so one way that you could write that in general form will be like this. The sine of theta plus 2 pi k. Crazy looking k. Alright, 2 pi k is equal to the sine of theta. That's the way uh, we use this back. That's how we were able to subtract or add 2 pi as many times as we need to. It's the same for cosine, secant, and cosecant. But what about the other two trig functions that I haven't mentioned? Tangent and cotangent. They repeat every pi. And of course, that is 180 degrees. So what that means is, if your angle measure is less than zero degrees or zero radians, you could just actually add pi or pi or 180 degrees as many times as you needed to. Or if, if the angle measure is larger than 360 degrees or 2 pi, you could just subtract pi or 180 degrees as many times as you need to if you're evaluating tangent and cotangent. All right, and symbolically, they could be written like this. Theta plus not 2 pi times k, but what? Just 1 pi. Okay. 